college. So, you just got rejected from college, you're feeling all types of depressed, your emotions are swirling inside you, you're wondering if all those years you pretended to give a shit about speech and debate was really worth it. You poured your heart and soul into becoming a Terminator to get into the college you've been dreaming about since you were a fetus, and now all those dreams have come crashing down. It's cruel, it's humiliating, it's embarrassing, I get it. But I am here to tell you, what college you go to doesn't matter. You are more than whatever private company you decide to pay $50,000 to to attend your year-round sleepaway camp. You are smart, you have value, you're a baddie. But I get why you're sad. You've become emotionally attached to this college. You feel like all the hard work you did in high school is all for nothing. And you're afraid that whatever college you go to is going to affect your future. But guess what, you fucking nerds? I'm here to tell you, you're going to be okay. Look, big college has a lot riding on you wanting to get into these dream colleges. I present to you the college industrial complex. Colleges are trying to sell you on the experience of college. All these big companies are trying to sell you on their tests for you to get into college. All these test prep companies are trying to sell you on doing well on these tests. All these college YouTubers are trying to sell you on this college so you watch your vlogs. All these high schools are trying to get you to get into a good college so more people go to this high school. All these people make a lot of money if you guys all want to get into a few select colleges, and they lose a lot of money if you break out of the matrix and realize it's all a load of barnacles. I get it, dudes. College apps are very Lord of the Flies now. I will assault you if you try to take my spot at the top of a class. I've been there. I went through that. When I was applying to college, it was like, I gotta do well in all these APs, I gotta do all these extracurriculars, I gotta study for the SAT, I gotta somehow trick all my teachers and interviewers into thinking I'm a normal human being, worthy of getting a recommendation. It was a lot, but I don't think that's the way to live life. I think y'all gotta stop worrying about what hippopotamus college you go to, and just chill the fuck out and play some Roblox. All that pressure you're putting on yourself at 16, 17, 18 years old, trying to get into college, is really bad for you. Trust me, as an adult who used to be a high achieving kid and is now burnt to an absolute fucking crisp from all that, it's not good for your health. Take care of your mentals. The truth is, you're probably more hooked on the idea of college than what college actually is. A bigger high school. I know all these TikTokers and YouTubers probably got you thinking college is gonna be so fun and so spontaneous. You're gonna take all these awesome road trips and stay up all night talking about these wacky, deep topics with your roommates. What's the meaning of life? How many fifth graders do you think you could beat up? But that's just not realistic, dog. Look, to be honest, I didn't even really have that good of a time at my elite college. All the people were super immature and fake. There was this weird culture just pushing everyone to do CS, and I didn't even eat breakfast for three years. The most important meal of the day. Does that sound like a place where your personal growth is maximized? A place where you don't eat breakfast? Trust me, man, you don't want to be around all these preppy assholes who have never washed a dish in their lives. The things you should be doing in college are making friends, becoming independent, learning how to be an adult, mentally, spiritually, practically, figuring out who you are, learning to not jerk off 10 times a day, and slowly inching towards an idea of what the heck you want to do with your life. And guess what? You can do those things at any college. In fact, you don't even have to go to college to do those things. Maybe your Insta feed is not going to be as popping, but I promise you, in four years, no one is going to give a fuck where you went to college. In fact, if I met someone now who told me they went to an elite college, I'll probably have to suppress the urge to smack the shit out of them. Look, college really is just whatever you make of it. And all that stuff you did in high school, cut out that bullshit volunteering, dude. I, I know you don't give a fuck about heart disease, but the stuff you actually do like, you can still do that in college. I think too many people think of college as just this stepping stone to fucking rocket themselves towards the big ass plan they have for their lives, right? Like, first step, college. Second step, consulting. Third step, ego profiteering. Newsflash, college is basically just a competency certificate for future employers, and your dream college is probably more fantasy than reality. Enjoy college. But more importantly, enjoy your late teens slash early 20s. Your brain 
is still developing, you stupid little tadpole. So it's more important for you to figure out who you really are and what you want to do in your life than get a head start on your plan for world domination. Look, if you care a lot about college, I already know a lot about you because I've been you. You're always stressed, you put a lot of pressure on yourself, you've never felt the gentle caress of a member of the opposite sex, and you want to achieve a lot in life. And as the future version of you, I promise you, you will get there. But you also gotta kick back, chill out, and relax a little bit, and enjoy life, because why else are we here? College and this time in your life in general is just about self-discovery and having fun. Just get out there, man. Just have some fun, explore the world, chill the fuck out, maybe talk to some girls or guys, you know, just broaden your social circle and just chill out, man. You're gonna be okay no matter what college you go to. As a wise turtle once said, just keep swimming.